This is Marcy Anderson with the Fishing Report for Southeast Kentucky. This abnormal weather has made for an interesting spring fishing season, but if you can get a break, we have been seeing some good catches from around the district. On Lake Cumberland, water temperatures have been in the mid-50s and lake levels are running six feet below normal summer pool. Lake levels are up a few feet higher this year and we are still seeing some floating woody debris on the lake, so use extra caution. Largemouth bass are being picked up on crankbaits in the creeks around shallow cover. We're continuing to see some great striped bass being caught. Target areas midway up the creeks from the surface down to 30 feet of water trolling live shad on planer boards. Crappie are being picked up in the creeks using minnows and jigs. Dale Hollow is fishing well. Water temperatures are in the mid-50s, and with the recent rains, there are some dingy water areas to be found, and those have been productive. Anglers are having luck picking up largemouth bass in the creeks using crankbaits and Alabama rigs, and smallmouth bass are being picked up on crankbaits. On Cedar Creek Lake, water temperatures are running in the mid-50s, and some bass are starting to move in shallow in 10 to 15 feet of water. Try targeting standing timber using swim baits. April brings a lot of fish stockings across the state, and several have taken place in this area recently. Streams in the Daniel Boone National Forest, including Rock Creek, War Fork, Cane Creek, and Bark Camp Creek, were recently stocked with rainbow trout, as well as several other streams and lakes in the district. Finns Lake catfish stockings are also starting up. Brickyard ponds in Barberville have already been stocked, and Logan Hubble Park will be stocked in the next week. Just a reminder that fish stocking information is available online on our website at fw.ky.gov and search for fish stocking. So as always, good luck and good fishing. This is Jeremy Shifflett with a fishing report for Northwest Kentucky. Rough River Lake is about three feet above winter pool, which for most people is abnormally low. But remember, the date to begin holding water was moved back from March 15th to April 1st this year. So right now we're just waiting on rain. Tailwater is at minimum flow, but anglers can still pick up some crappie and hybrids on small plastics and shallow running crankbaits. Bass fishing in the lake is picking up. Fish are moving shallower, 3 to 10 feet deep. Medium running crankbaits, jerkbaits, spinnerbaits, and jigs are all catching fish. Crappie fishing is good, although it has been hit or miss for some folks. Fish are being caught anywhere from 12 inches to 15 feet deep. Mostly on jigs, but with some success with minnows as well. Hybrid striped bass are being caught inadvertently by crappie anglers and also by trolling crankbaits 6 to 10 feet deep, especially on the lower end of the South Fork and then down towards the dam, and also casting swim baits near the creek mouths. Nolan River Lake is about 13 feet below summer pool and slowly rising. Bass fishing has been good. Steep rocky banks have been producing fish on crankbaits, jerkbaits, jigs with trailers, and shaky heads. Crappie fishing has been fair to good. Fish are a bit all over the place as these cold fronts keep passing through, but fish are being caught 2 to 20 feet deep lately on both jigs and minnows. White bass are being caught on the lower end of the lake and also upriver. The river level is still low, meaning boat access is limited to small boats only at Bacon Creek. But bank fishing from Bacon Creek to Wheeler's Mill has been producing fish, some days better than others, White, pink, and chartreuse tubes, straight tails, and curly tail grubs, along with hair jigs, inline spinners, beetle spins, and casting spoons are all great baits for the river this time of year. Bass fishing is good at the State Lakes and WMA Lakes. Target rocks and woody structure 3 to 10 feet deep with uh, soft plastics. Crankbaits and jerkbaits fished parallel to shore in about 5 to 8 feet of water have been catching fish as well. The fishing will continue to heat up with the water temps and rising water levels at the reservoirs, so good luck and stay safe. Hi, this is Eric Cummins with your Southwest Kentucky Fishing Report. Barren and Green River Lakes will be on the rise with recent rains and perhaps muddy in the upper reaches, which spells for abnormally good catfish fishing. Beaver Creek, Walnut Creek, and Austin boat ramp areas are all good bank fishing access at Barron. Green River Lake may crawl above summer pool levels, but Smith Ridge and Ramp 1 sites are also some good bank fishing spots. Bass at Barron and Green River Lake are both good with smallmouth action at its best, both in the lower ends of the lakes. Largemouth bass action has also been good with spinnerbaits, jigs, and crankbaits in that 2 to 6 foot range. Crappie likewise at both lakes has been good, but the fish are still out in deeper water in that 8 to 12 foot range and on the main lake though with the rise in water levels uh, some of those may start to be drawn up shallower white bass runs at both lakes will be on by perhaps the weekend with the rise of water levels 
Green River Lake action will be best between Snake Creek and Niffley in the Green River section and then above Elkhorn or the 70 Bridge there in the Robinson Creek section. At Barren River Lake, Skaggs Creek, at Matthews Mill and Beaver Creek at Siddons, and then Browns Ford to Holland will be good starting points for some white bass action. Good early season small impoundment bass spots would be Spurlington Lake in Taylor County, Metcalf County Lake, and then Mill Creek Lake near Tompkinsville and Monroe County. Spinner baits, crank baits, and, and swim baits are good bets there. Good crappie small impoundment opportunities can be had at Briggs Lake in Logan County, again Metcalf County Lake, and then also Marion County Lake near Lebanon. As always, good luck and good fishing, and be sure your life jacket's got your back. This is Caleb Bentley with the Kentucky Stocking Report. This week across the state, we stocked rainbow trout, brown trout, and channel catfish. Rainbow trout were stocked in Lake Cumberland Tailwaters, Beaver Creek, Elk Springs, Yellow Creek in Bell County, and Clear Creek. Brown trout were stocked in Cannon Creek Lake. Channel catfish were stocked in Jesse Thornton Lake, Jacobson Park Lake, Brickyard Park Lake, Kingdom Come State Park Lake, Kentucky Horse Park Rolex Lake, Lake Montgomery, Kess Creek Park Lake, Rotary Park Lake, Mike Miller Park Lake, James D. Beville Park Lake, Madisonville City Park Lake, Wayman Morris Park Lake, Scott County Park Lake, Lusby Lake, Easy Walker Park Lake, Yellow Creek Park Lake, Panther Creek Park Lake, Middleton Mills Park, both the Long Pond and the Shelter House, Prisoners Lake, Camp Carlson Lake, and Maysville Lake. Good luck fishing and stay safe.